And we no longer allow you to merely adopt and change reality because you want to news. Kansas had a law that allowed people to alter their birth certificates to change the sex on which they were born, which doesn't make any sense because, you know, that would be something that was fixed, you know, at the point of birth. But Kansas is over here like we can actually change the past. 1984 style ministry of truth. We can take in the documents and we can change them and delete any, any record of the change and it'll be fine. Well, a federal judge has upended all this saying, you know, this is some crap and Kansas can't do this. So let's learn a little bit more about this attempt to modify the records of the past. Let's learn a little bit more about this. A federal judge granted the attorney general of Kansas's request Thursday to undermine provisions of what had been a 2019 consent judgment, which had granted transgender individuals born in Kansas the right to amend their birth certificate to match their gender identity, which literally makes no sense, right? I that when you know the doctor makes a medical determination of your sex based on you know what sex you are, and Kansas is over here like, what if we allowed you to change your birth certificate? What if we allowed you to change your change what sex you were born? Uh huh. And apparently, at some point in the past, namely 2019, Kansas had entered into an agreement to allow this because you know Kansas apparently saw no problem with this. But now this has been undermined, and you know the consent judgment is no longer a thing. Kansas had sought the United States District Court's intervention after the Kansas Legislature approved a law defining women and men by biological sex because you know. That's what they are and requiring state agencies to collect health data, identifying people as either male or female consistent with determination at birth, which, you know, also makes sense because there are some medical differences between men and women and diseases sometimes impact men and women differently. And these might be helpful things to know about how men and women are treated or what diseases they have, or the prevalence of diseases, or potentially what treatments might work better for one versus the other. So, you know, maybe having better data would help us with the treatments. So, you know, let's, you know, create the data in a way that would, you know, be medically accurate based on biology seems pretty good. The impetus for the statute was a movement to prevent transgender people from using restrooms, locker rooms, and other facilities based on conflict with birth. And also, you know, just having a good sense of underlying fundamental reality is also good. While transgender Kansasans consider the statute imposed in July to be harassment, the attorney general argued that the law enabled the court to end the Kansas Department of Health and Environmental's practice of correcting, and we use the word correcting very uh, loosely here, uh, gender markers on the birth certificate, which isn't really a correction. If somehow the doctor had screwed it up, I suppose that would be a correction. Also, we'd like to have a word with the doctor on how they made such a basic biological mistake, but I digress. But uh, we were calling it correcting the uh, birth certificate because, I don't know, people's views of, you know, whatever. The governor, a Democrat, opposed the law and objected to, you know, the attorney general's legal analysis. The attorney general, for their part, writing, as long as I'm attorney general, the laws of Kansas will be enforced as written. So the governor, governor might not be very happy about it, but the attorney general is elected independently, which is true in most states. Of course, in the federal system, the attorney general is appointed by the president. But in, I think, every state, although there might be an exception somewhere, so I'm sure I'll be corrected. But it, let's just say in many states... The attorney general is independently elected of the legislature, or apologize, independently elected of the governor. So they're independent office. So the governor may not like it, but you know, the attorney general's over here like, well, I'm going to do me. You do you, boo. The attorney general writing, the legislature decided that birth certificates, you know, should reflect biological reality because that would be a good thing. And they were also quite clear about it when they wrote the law. Today's decision is a rejection of advocates and the governor's attempt to twist the English language beyond all recognition. Yeah, I mean, you know, what men have meant and what women have meant, you know, no one has been confused about this until, you know, basically this morning. Yesterday, everyone was really, really clear on it, but today everyone seems to be confused, even though it seemed really, really clear for thousands of years. So I don't know what that's about. 
The court had told the governor what the law means. We now expect the governor to follow the law and cease changing birth certificates to something other than biological sex at birth. So, yeah. Four years ago, Lambda Legal, along with the Brian Cave Leiden Parsner Law Firm, represented four transgender people who were unable to obtain birth certificates consistent with their gender identity because, you know, birth certificates reflect sex, not gender. And I've been told that sex and gender are distinct concepts by some of my friends on the left, a concept I'm not sure I agree with, incidentally. I'm not sure sex and gender are distinct concepts, but they say they are. So why would your gender identity have anything to do with your sex on your birth certificate? I don't know. But they seem to think it does for some reason, even though they think it's also independent, which doesn't make any sense. The negotiated agreement of the lawsuit had set aside Kansas' discriminatory policy and allowed hundreds of people to modify the key identification document to reflect their feelings, I guess. The health care strategist for Lambda Legal said the attorney general's interpretation of the law was as unlawful as Kansas' administrative policy on birth certificates that was challenged. The Lambda Legal people saying we're disappointed the court saw fit to reopen the consent judgment, which had been placed for four years and operated without incident. Well... You know, the state of Kansas thought, you know, this was some BS as like, we want to change the law, which, you know, the Kansas legislature presumably has the right to change the law, one would think. Lambda Legal saying, let us be clear, Howard, today's decision does not approve of SB 180 as interpreted by the Kansas Attorney General, but simply holds circumstances have changed, which, you know, okay. Indeed, the court went to great lengths to specifically say it was not opining as to whether or not it was constitutional, which, you know, why wouldn't it be? But Okay. The gender-bending activists say that individuals' access to accurate personal documents was vital because lack of accurate identification placed transgender people at the peril of discrimination, harassment, and violence. Uh-huh. And if you change your birth certificate, that will prevent that? I don't know how, incidentally, because people don't typically, you know, walk around with their birth certificates. And also, to the extent I'm going to discriminate against you, it's probably not based on your birth certificate because how would I know what that is? But okay. A lawsuit challenging the state law could emerge from the court battle. We will evaluate next steps to determine how best to continue to secure the right of transgender Kansans to identify documents consistent with who they are, as opposed to, you know, being consistent with reality. Under the original consent judgment, the federal court had ordered the State Department of Health and Environment and other Kansas governments to provide birth certificates that reflected sex consistent with gender identity. But wait a second. Sex consistent with gender identity, I thought our friends on the left, on the progressive, said that sex and gender were different. I thought they said sex was biology and gender was a social construct. That was their argument. I, I thought that sex and gender are different things. This is not necessarily a premise I agree with. I'm not sure they are different things, but they said they were different things. So why would you need to change the sex to be consistent with gender identity if they're independent. If they're independent, why would your gender identity have anything to do with your sex? So what exactly is it that you believe in from your framework? What is your premise exactly? Are sex and gender different or not? I'm so confused. What exactly is your position here? The order know the state's previous position prohibiting the gender market corrections, which you know that they're not, they're sex, to birth certificates violate equal protection and due process, which I'm not even sure how that works. Um, violates equal protection and due process? N no, I'm not sure how a doctor observing that is a boy violates either equal protection or due process. But uh, apparently some people thought it did somehow. The Republican-led legislature responded earlier this year with the Senate Bill 180. The governor had vetoed the bill, but the legislature, being super pissed, overrode the governor's veto. The governor's all like, you know, I think that, you know, the gender and sex are different, and also you should be allowed to change your birth certificate for some reason. And the legislature's all over here like, nah, fam, we're not about that life. Screw you. And the attorney general's all like, yeah, screw you too. In June, there was a motion filed in federal court to nullify the consent judgment by saying the original order conflicted with the new state's law requiring... The change. So the state of Kansas is like, you know, well, we're not going to, we really don't like the consent judgment anymore because we changed our law. And, you know, last I checked, the legislature can still change the law, right? We, we are, we do have the ability to change the law, right? So I, I know we gave an agreement before, but, you know, 
the legislature wants to change the law, and so not so much. The governor and attorneys for the original plaintiffs have argued the new law doesn't conflict with the consent judgment because state agencies could gather vital statistics in accordance with statute and also continue to issue modified birth certificates, which is really, really strange because that would allow the same person to be listed as two different sexes on different governmental documents. So like, okay, it's not an issue because we can still collect information based on your biology as it relates to medicine, but also we're going to change your birth certificate. So for some purposes, you're male and some purposes, you're female, I guess. All right. That's what they wanted to go with. In the wake of the attorney general's efforts to undo the consent order, the Kansas ACLU said that they ought to rethink the sheer indecency of this attempt to weaponize the office of the attorney general's authority to attract transgender Kansasans just trying to live their lives. The ACLU over here not having a great day. Thus, that brings us to the end of the moment for this just new change of Kansas. Kansas is like, what if men were men and women were women? And our law said that. And, you know, it said that on your birth certificate as to your biological sex, you know, be whatever gender I guess you want, but gender and sex are independent, right? So why would you need to alter your birth certificate? Because that reflects sex, not gender. So, you know, your gender is independent, right? So what does it matter? And, you know, the logic caused the, you know, the left to disappear in a puff of logic, which also seems to happen. But for the moment, at least Kansas is allowed to have its choices. The federal judge has upended the consent judgment. Kansas will, you know, recognize biological sex realities. And that for the moment brings us end of discussion of this case.